I have made it. I'm in Rome and the journey has begun. <laughs> I went to New England. Ciao, 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 ciao. Welcome to the vlog. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's Thursday. Today is the day before I leave. Um, what a day it's been. I've gotten a lot done today. I'd like to believe I got a good workout in. I went and got my nails done, which I am so grateful for. I got some Mediterranean nails from this amazing nail girl in Columbus that I'm so grateful that I got to go to her. So I got my Mediterranean nails for my trip tomorrow. I'm at my final appointment of the day. I'm gonna go, that's why my hair looks all gross. Gonna go get that done. And then we get to go home and pack for my trip tomorrow. I am incredibly anxious. You could call me dramatic, go ahead do it. I, I guess I am. I'm just so anxious right now. I have not received the negative results of my COVID test yet. It's been over 24 hours. It's been like about a day and a half now and they still have, they're saying they haven't even received my COVID test to do the results on it yet. So with my flight being tomorrow morning, I don't like knowing like something's in the way. Like there's just so many like things that really could go wrong like this is covid traveling this is real deal like traveling during covid there are a lot of things that can go wrong and i this is a great practice for me as someone who's so insanely anxious this is so nice to, i mean this is not nice but this is going to make me more experienced having to go through these kind of situations but my anxiety i, f I feel like i could throw up i'm sad about leaving um, like family and stuff. I know I'll be so happy once I get there, don't get me wrong, but it's the transition that we all have gone through where you, you have to say goodbye to say hello to something amazing and right now I'm in the middle of that and it's just... Mm, it's just hitting differently. It is. So today has been rough emotionally, but since I last vlogged getting to Columbus from my like Arizona, Cleveland, South Carolina time. I did all that kind of travel, drove across the country. I vlogged a little bit in Columbus and then more that I have vlogged uh, since then is I went to New England. So I actually will show you guys a little bit of New England right here.
You think these are wild blueberries? I'm gonna say they are. You're gonna say they're wild blueberries? I think blueberries? the leaves are. England. I had an absolutely wonderful time. Um, got to go to a few new states, which I can add to my list, which I love doing as a travel bug. Uh, fell in love once again with Boston. I've been to Boston twice in my life and I just, I love that city so much. So anyways, um, that was the New England time. And then since I've been back in Columbus, it's been nothing but friends and family and going out to eat and having really fun experiences and going shopping with friends and family and just like being with my people, which has been the most rewarding thing ever. I'm so incredibly grateful. I am so lucky to be doing absolutely any of this. So please don't think that I'm coming off negative, but I just want to tell you guys the stress and the anxiety that is like going on right now and the emotions and all this stuff. I'm also just, I think my period's coming, <laughs> TMI. <laughs> but I don't know, it's 401, so I better get inside. I'm one minute late to my hair appointment, so. That's all the updates I got for you. Welcome to the vlog. Thank you for watching. Um, let's see what we get into. But first, let's go get a little bit darker because I want to be nice and dark. So, let's go. I don't know how, but I am packed at 9.15 at night. I really thought I was gonna be up to like 11 o'clock midnight tonight, but I am fully packed, fully organized. I am waiting for my negative COVID test result, still, no news. And I have to pack my backpack in the morning and that's it, we're ready. I can't believe it, like I should be like, I know like you guys are probably like, why isn't she not like so excited? Like I should be jumping for joy. I'm gonna go into my bedroom real quick. Um. But anyways, I don't, I don't know, like I'm just, I don't think it's, I think I'm a little bit like, if I'm being honest, traumatized, because you guys saw that I moved from Arizona, ow, sorry, my back's hurting really bad, so I moved from Arizona, and now my skin is really orange, lighting, great, either way, so like I've just had a lot of like, I moved all over in Chicago in 20, I went to Chicago in 2020, and then had a lot of like, like travel there moving there moved from columbus to arizona thought i was originally moving to california we stayed in arizona we drove back home a year later like there's been just so much moving in my life the past like year and a half and so packing tonight was like very emotional for me because it felt like i was packing again like i was moving again when i'm not i mean i am moving i am moving for just like temporary so like here we go again like I'm so grateful, like don't get me wrong, I'm so, so grateful, I am excited, like I think tomorrow when I get to the airport, I'm gonna be just like jumping for joy. Once I get this negative test, I'm gonna feel so much better, but right now I'm like, you know, packing is not fun, and like planning to leave things behind is a weird feeling, and going somewhere different is weird, and so I'm just being honest with you guys. Like I know you probably want like a super exciting, like travel moving vlog but like right now in this moment before i go to bed while i have everything pretty much done like i'm just 
I'm definitely excited, but I'm also like just going through all kinds of other emotions too. So they're all kind of weighing on each other. So that's my little update. And so yeah, then I will see you at some point in the morning tomorrow, maybe at the airport. I'm gonna go to bed, get some rest. That's about it. Buongiorno, good morning, hello, hi, it's Sunday. Um, there's gonna be a lot of background noise because they don't, my grandma doesn't do this thing called AC here. <laughs> so the doors and the windows and everything are always open 24 seven to get fresh air and just to cool it down. So if there's background noise, sorry, but it's Sunday morning so things are pretty quiet because everyone is very chill on a Sunday. I'm actually filming this the day I'm uploading it. <laughs> so I'm six hours ahead and from anyone who's in America watching this. So hopefully I can get this edited and up by noon your time, which will be 6 p.m. my time. I don't know. Either way, I have made it. I'm in Rome and the journey has begun. Traveling was honestly a lot of patience and a lot of quiet alone time, but it was so easy. I'm so grateful for how, I re how easy everything was. There was a lot of lines, a lot of triple checking, you know, all your COVID things and all of your reservations and stuff like that. But besides like all the lines and the triple checking, sorry, I'm still kind of waking up. So my voice is a little 
a little off but anyways um traveling was so easy and i'm just so grateful to be here i'm taking it chill yesterday was such a chill day i kind of just relaxed all day and unpacked and kind of got situated i'm in the bedroom i'll be staying in for the next three months or so we'll see what this journey takes but i'm already starting to research i already talked with my aunt who picked me up yesterday about getting my passport about taking classes about joining possibly a gym here so <laughs> i mean there's definitely ways to work out don't get me wrong but a gym would be nice just to throw in and as an addition but either way I'm kind of just adjusting today, yesterday and today is pure adjust uh, like adjusting, so I haven't really filmed much more than the food. <laughs> I mean, came in the door and first things first, had a coffee and then I had a really yummy lunch. Of course, pasta with zucchini, classic, Nona knows it's my favorite. Fresh tomatoes, fresh mozzarella. I'm so grateful to be here and I fell asleep last night to the dogs barking and the cars zooming by and everything and I just love I just love everything about being here so far. I'm just, I'm so grateful. And I'm so grateful for you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some kind of value out of it. I know I haven't brought any recipes to the table recently. I'm not doing many cooking videos, but hopefully as I get adjusted and start to get into a routine here and start to get things going and start speaking better, um, we'll start getting into the kitchen, maybe with my aunt or my cousin or my grandma, somebody's kitchen we're gonna get into. We're gonna maybe make some seasonal recipes. I'm gonna talk a lot about, you know, shopping here, the market here, the grocery stores. I wanna talk a lot about like, you know, holidays and culture here versus there. Like right now in America, like fall, like pumpkins, like there's a freaking filter that's going viral on TikTok because everyone's so obsessed with fall in America. But, you know, I kinda wanna see like, they're still very much in summer mode here, like summer, is very much happening here so it's so interesting to see the differences and the correlations and all the things between america and italy so i hope to share a lot of that while i'm here and just kind of like what i get into every video hopefully will be so interesting even if i don't bring recipes to the table in every single video i will return to recipes eventually like i'll never ever give up on cooking you guys know i love to cook and bake so much but right now i'm kind of just on this journey of living in Italy versus being <laughs> versus living in the kitchen. <laughs> so anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got something out of this. Like I said earlier, I just repeat myself all the time in these videos. And if you did, please hit the thumbs up button, uh, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells so you know when I upload. If I start uploading more than once a week, I'm considering it. If I can start making some really cool videos, I might do Wednesdays and Sundays. Just get more videos out to you guys. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to sign off here so I can get back to editing and then go enjoy this beautiful Sunday. So I, again, I am so grateful for you and your support. I cannot, I wouldn't be here without your support. I'm not even joking. Like literally, I would not be sitting here without your guys' hyping me up for getting here. So thank you. And yeah, if you have any questions about traveling that I did, if you have any questions about the airport, if like what papers you needed to get here to Italy, if you have any, any of those kind of questions, leave it in the comments below. Um, let me know what you're most excited to see me, you know, share while I'm here in Italy and stuff like that. Just anything you want to share or talk about, ask comments down below. Anyways, until next time, I hope you create a very, very zestful day. Ciao.